Easter, Easter, Easter. Hello, my people, and welcome back to Purposeful Parenting Channel. My name is Jacinta. So, on to today's video, I want to talk about Easter fat for kids, Easter package for kids. Yes. So, in a simple term, what I'm trying to say is, what does a child know about Easter? What knowledge does a child possess about Easter? Now, let me start by saying that this kind of periods, like Easter period, Christmas period, Valentine's Day, etc., these periods provide us with a good opportunity to talk to our children or to speak to our children about God. I'm not saying it should only be a one-off conversation, no. But this period, it, it provides us a very important opportunity to speak to their heart about God. And you do remember in my introduction video, I said there are three things, three foundations you should lay for your child about who God is. Number one, the love of God. Number two, the goodness of God. Number three, the power of God. His love, his goodness, and how powerful he is. Family is the first school your child or your children should attend. And guess who the teacher is? You. I keep saying it. Every parent is a teacher. And you are not just a teacher in a particular field. You are a teacher in all fields. So the children should get the basic knowledge from the home. Now, you, you, you took them to church this Easter period and you just left them with what the preacher said, not even caring whether they understood or not. That is religion and not relationship. Bring them back home. Family is a school. They should get the basic knowledge from there. Ask them questions like, what are we celebrating this period? What makes this period different or special? Who is Jesus Christ? And speak to them. Talk to them about the period we are into. But sorry to say it, but most of us only focus on paperwork. The children are on holiday. Yet we don't want to allow them to rest and refresh. We still employ home tutors to come and teach them at home. Whereas it's a period for them to relax and refresh. And that is a period you also have time to talk to them, to speak to them, have time for them. Because you think it's all about school. No. Yes, education is good, but it's not all about school. God trusted you and gave you those wonderful children. And you think sending them to the most expensive school or meeting their material needs is, is, is everything you need to do for them. No, there is more. There is more. Have you introduced them to the one that gave you those kids? Your child can be brilliant, the best child in class. Fantastic. Very good. He knows all the books in the world. Excellent. No problem with that. But does he know God? Does he know who Jesus Christ is? Does he even know the Holy Spirit? <laughs> the Bible says, promotion can neither come from the east nor from the west, but from God. What is good when he acquire all those certificates without God? It's nothing. So they need to go walk step by step with God. And that is what you need to show them this Easter period. Let me tell you, if the only thing you did this holiday, this three weeks holiday, is to introduce your child to God, you've done great. Leave Pepper walk. They are going back to it. If this is the only thing you did, you've done great. 
instill the fear of God into them. It's not like they need to fear God. But whatever they are doing, they reverence God. They will be like, ah, will God be happy if I do it this way? Will God be happy if I lie to mommy? Will God be happy if I take something that does not belong to me? That way, you are raising a well-grounded child. A child that walks step by step with God. Now the question is, how do you raise your child or your children? But before I go for that, let me say something. Raising of children, it's for both the father and the mother. But guess what? Majority of the world lies on the mother. We are not going to go into that today. If you are following the passion of Jesus, there was a point the women were crying. I, Jesus said, women, do not cry for me. Weep for yourself and for your children. Have you read that portion? It's in Luke. Why would they weep? Because of the things happening these days. With the children of this generation, a lot is happening. Is that how you want your child to turn out? The Bible says, train up your child in Proverbs. Train up your child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart. God does not lie. He will not depart. He may deviate. He's different. Maybe as a result of peer influence. He may deviate. A, but let me tell you, because of the foundation, because of the strong foundation, he will find his way back by the help of God. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he, when he is old, he will not depart from it. I remember the Bible said, a, a house built on a solid foundation <laughs> can never collapse. I'm paraphrasing. The flood will come at it. Nothing will happen to it. It can only shake the house, but the house will stand. That is the kind of foundation you need to lay for your child. And this Easter is a very important holiday. Who is my child without God? It's nobody. She's nobody. I need to show them God, their creator. I need to let them know that I don't owe them. They belong to God. That I'm only a channel. I'm only an instrument that God is using to take care of them. I encourage you this period. Use this period. Use this opportunity. Talk to your child about God. Some of them might even bring you the question. Mommy, who is Jesus Christ? What are we celebrating in this Easter period? Talk to them. Lead them to Christ. It's very, very important. Like I said, if that is all you achieve this holiday period, you've done a lot. You've done a whole lot. I remember um, those days when I was still a child, when my mom was still around, oh, God rest her soul. On Easter Sunday, immediately, all of us, everybody goes to church. But once we enter, there's this music she used to own, music, uh, songs of victory. We are still on our church clothes. Everybody's dancing, jubilating. The atmosphere is filled with e the Easter mood. Because she taught us, we understood. So you need to do the same. Your child will go far with God. Imagine the level he is now or she is now. And you introduce he or she to God. That child will go far. So I encourage you. Use this Easter period. Speak to them about who God is. And the, the love of God that he sent his son Jesus Christ. And who Jesus Christ is. And the price he paid. You can do it in so many ways. You can read it from the Bible for them. You can get the passion movie. Watch it as a family. See it together. As you are watching the movie. Be explaining it more to them. Let them feel it. Let them appreciate the season we are into. And God will bless you. I pray that God strengthen us. 
God strengthen us as parents to do our part because he entrusted those children on trust. He knows our capacity. He knows we can handle them. So I pray he gives us the strength to lead them back to him. And as we do so, I pray that those children will make us proud and make God proud. In Jesus' name, amen. So thank you everyone for being part of this family. So if you like this video, please share with your family and friends. Comment below, subscribe and turn on your notification button. Okay, so see you again. Come next week Monday. Bye for now, family.